In this video, we are going to learn how to solve partial fraction using shortcut tricks in seconds. Now, this video will be very useful to you if you are writing board exams like JEE, NDA, A level maths, GCSE exam, and the rest of them. Or even if you are a college student or high school student writing algebra exam involving multiple choice questions, this shortcut trick will be very, very useful to you as well. All right, so let's begin. Let's begin with this example. Okay, let's so say we are giving this expression 1 over. 2x square minus x and we're asked to resolve it into partial fraction okay now this is a shortcut trick firstly we need to factor out the denominator so if you do you're going to have one over this is same thing as x in bracket 2x minus 1 okay so now that we have the factor these two factors remember that partial fraction you need to split the fraction so if you split this fraction you're going to have a over x okay plus b over 2x minus 1 so we are looking for a value and b value so to get these two respective unknowns look at the shortcut trick now this x equated to 0 and this 2x minus 1 equated to 0 so let's begin with this one so if you equate this one out to 0 that means the value of x here is 0 so you substitute this value of x in this expression but don't substitute it here. Now, so when you do, you're going to have 1 over 2 times 0 minus 1, which is the same thing as 1 over minus 1, which is the same thing as minus 1. All right, so that means our A is now minus 1. Okay, for B, B now, if you 2x minus 1 equals 0, okay, so this will cross over, you're going to have 2x equals 1. Right both side by 2 x equals half All right so that means you're going to substitute half in this expression we have here but don't substitute it here so if you do you're going to have 1 over 1 over 2 1 over 1 over 2 is the same thing as 1 times 2 over 1 which is the same thing as 2 All right, that means our b will be 2 okay so to we present this as the partial fraction it will be let me wipe some parts okay so the partial fraction of this expression now we our a is minus one over okay x plus now our b is two over two x minus one so this will be the partial fraction now let's verify this with the calculator to check if this value we have or these values we have are correct so this is the classic calculator now the very first thing you have to do is to clear to clear you press shift but now for the instruction it like press three press the quotes and then press the quotes again it's not clear the essence of clear is to put your calculator in default mode so let's go ahead to solve this with the calculator now i recommend you should start you have to start a number of which i recommend you because i worked with two for a very long time i have not found any error with it so to start to press the number first then press shift store x okay so let's simplify this fraction we have here with this number is stored so we have one over okay two x square alpha x okay square by right minus x alpha x we press half an x to bring out s okay so one over six or, or zero point one six so we're going to simplify this answer we, we have gotten to check if it's going to give us 1 over 6, all right? So let's do it. So we have minus 1, okay, over x, alpha x, okay, plus. So we have 2 over 2x, alpha x, okay, minus 1. That's all. Let's press the word to. You see one of us. See, that means this expression we have here is what? Correct. So, this is how you can do it with shortcut trick and also do it calculator. Let's show one more example so that you understand how to do it very well. So, you can master it. Let's wipe this. Now, note that this shortcut trick applies to where you have linear factors like this at the denominator. That's when this trick will work on it. All right, so let's wipe, wipe this and solve another problem. Okay, what if you are given 
2x plus 5 over x square plus 5x okay plus 6 and you ask to resolve this into partial fraction okay firstly we need to theorize the denominator so if you're going to have 2x plus 5 over when you factorize the denominator values you're going to have x plus 3 okay x plus 2 so when you factorize this is going to this is what we're going to have x plus 3 x plus 2 since we have two factors at the denominator we are going to split this partial into two parts so it's going to be a over x plus 3 plus b over x plus 2 all right now you equate x plus 3 to 0 and also x plus 2 to 0 so when you do it this story comes over to the equality sign and we have minus 3 now let's substitute this minus 3 in this expression but we're not going to substitute it here so if you do it you're going to have 2 in bracket minus 3 plus 5 okay over minus 3 plus 2 if you simplify this you're going to have minus 6 plus 5 right over minus 3 plus 2 give us minus 1 so we're going to have minus 6 plus 5 give us minus 1 over minus 1 so minus will cancel each other so our a therefore will be 1 all right now to get the b these two because of the quality sign change to minus 2 so you substitute this minus 2 in this expression but we are not going to substitute it here so if you simplify it you are going to have okay 2 in brackets minus 2 plus 5 over minus 2 plus 3 so when you break this down you're going to have minus 4 plus 5 over so minus 2 plus 3 give us 1 so minus 4 plus 5 we still give us 1 over 1 so our b will be 1 when a is 1 b is also what 1 therefore the partial fraction if you represent it let me wipe some parts the partial fraction will be our a is 1 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x plus 2. So this will be the partial fraction. Now let's verify it with the calculator once more. Let's be the classic calculator. Okay, so we don't need to clear it because there's two we stored in it is still there. It's only when we want to store a different number that you have to clear. But since we didn't clear, we still make use of that to be stored. So let's go ahead and simplify the fact the fraction we have there. So we have 2x okay alpha x all right plus 5 over we have s square alpha x okay square plus 5x alpha x plus 6 let's press what now so we have 9 over 20 or 0 0.45 so let's check if this value we got these values we got as the answer will give us 9 over 20 or 0 0.45 so let's simplify so we're going to have one over okay x plus three okay go back this side we have plus okay one over x plus two alpha x plus two okay that's all one over 20 the same answer that means this expression is correct guys so this is basically how you can use shortcut tricks to solve problems involving partial fraction with linear factors at the denominator and with this we'll come to the end of the class hope you learned something interesting this is my question for you which of the method we'll be using often we'll be using these shortcut tricks or we'll be using this pattern of calculator give your response in the comment section below and i'll join you in the discussion that's for this class guys if you are new to the channel ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, also like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what I learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions, ask feel free to give your question in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to give you a response. Thanks for watching.